Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to Kimber's Kitchen. Now, some of my previous videos, we've looked at cycling food for before a ride or after a ride. But what about during a ride? Now, recently, I think we've been spending a fortune on energy bars, cereal bars, anything I can basically put in my pocket while I'm out riding. So I thought, why not make my own? It's quite easy. A lot of the ingredients you've already got around the household and a couple of others are quite easy to add in. So this particular recipe is based around normal everyday porridge oats. Quite easy to get from the supermarket. We've also got a mixture of brown and caster sugar. Normal butter, block butter syrup or you can use honey if you prefer some sultanas and then to add some extra protein to it just got my old favourite some Casalan 90 so I'm going to put the ingredients and quantities in the comments and let's just get on with this so in a large baking bowl we're going to add the oats then a microwave bowl bowl, we're just going to add the butter, the sugar and the syrup. We're going to microwave this and keep stirring until it's all melted together. This should take a couple of minutes to do. So make sure you're very careful with this because it's very hot, easy to get burned. So make sure it's all dissolved and you've just got a nice liquid. Then we're going to add this into the oats. making sure you get it all at the bottom of the bowl because it will stick. Then we're going to add the sultanas and the Castellan 90. You could use whey powder for that as well. Just going to give it all a good stir up so it's all combined and mixed up. You might find, because we've added the Castellan to it, it goes a bit too dry. If you're worried about this, you could just add slightly more treacle to the mix. You'll be able to tell yourself when you stir it up if you feel it needs any more liquid adding to it. Then we're going to take our deep baking tray and just grease it around the edges with a paper towel and just some margarine on here it'll just stop it from getting st stuck to the bottom of the tray and then we're just going to add the mixture to the bottom of the baking tray give it a good press down make sure you get right to the edge you don't have any left on the spoon. And just use the back of your hand just to press it around the edges. And I'm going to pop this into the oven, like I say, on 160 degrees and this will take around 15 minutes. But just check it after say 10 to 12, we don't want it getting burnt. And after about 15 minutes in the oven, this is what we've got. So we're just going to go gently round the edge, just to separate it from the tray. I'm going to leave it just to cool and go brittle, and then we'll be able to turn it and fold it out. It's too flexible at the moment, so it won't come out of the tray. Now, this recipe, when I've added it all up, comes to 35 grams of protein, 350 grams of carbs, 83 grams of fat, but only 47 of that is saturated, but a whopping 2,334 calories. Now, you could take those figures and divide it by however many pieces. I'm going to chop mine into strips and then half it. So I'm probably going to get about 
eight pieces out of this. So you'll have a really good portion size for when you're out cycling, just wrap it up in a piece of cling film, stick it in your back pocket. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna put, like I say, all the ingredients and the nutritional values in the comments. Please subscribe and watch out for other videos. Thanks.